Hey guys, uh, Kev here from the Relic Rescue Crew. My first ever attempt at live streaming. Alright, so uh, if I get anybody watching, it'll be a bonus. Otherwise, uh, you can watch the reruns, right? Just going to uh, log into my channel to see if I can see the video popping up. I want to see if it's working. Uh, you can hear some noise. I've got uh, four dogs in the room with me. Uh, they're going to be fighting, uh, snoring, passing wind, etc. So uh, I want to see if my, my video is going to come up. Um, just bear with me. First ever attempt at live streaming. Don't know if it's going to work. But we will see. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if it did. Never tried it before. Or a test. Um, don't know. I'm not sure if it's working or not. Anyway. There we go. Yes, it is working. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. There we go. Right. So I'm going to talk about the Mobius camera. Uh, for those who uh, do watch the channel, you'll know that I'm, I run a relic hunting channel where I use a metal detector and um, we go out looking for bits and pieces out in fields and uh, film what we find. And um, it, it's if you do YouTube or you do Relic Hunter, you'll know that using a detector and a shovel, it's kind of tricky, especially if you want to film something as well. So I was looking for a, a solution, uh, and I, I found this little thing. It's called the Mobius camera. It's, um, it's similar to the GoPro, but the GoPro is like about 500 bucks. This is about 100 bucks, 120 bucks, something like that. Uh, the Mobius camera is not the newest camera on the market. It's probably been uh, two or three years. Excuse me to grab a drink because we're live. And we've got five people watching. That's kind of cool. Silver in the hole. Hello, buddy. How are you? Thinking about getting one. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I think you'll like it, actually. I'm going to look over here because this is where I can see the chat. Um, all right. So 120 bucks. Got it off Amazon. I can post the link if you guys are interested. Um... You've got to be careful when you buy these because I looked at a lot of reviews and there's a few fake ones on the market. So uh, that's one of the reasons I chose Amazon because I know that they've got really good customer service. So if you get any problems, you can send it right back to them and, and they won't mess around. Did look a, hey, digging dirty south, need a good good cam. Consider this. Um, so I did try to buy it from a company um, in Toronto because I'm in Canada right now. Um, they had it listed on their website, but... They didn't actually have one in stock, and they tried to send me something else, an alternative, and I, and I didn't want that. So Amazon was the best choice for me, and that's where I went. Um, so you see the size of the thing. It's a tiny little thing. Um, about the same size as a box of Tic Tacs. Um, and it's not very heavy either. Um, I don't know. I wish I, wish I knew how what, what the weight was. I should have done my research, but it, it's tiny, really small. I don't think I've got a... Um, yeah, I can measure it. Got a measuring stick. Just over two inches. Over just over two inches. This is what I do some testing with. Um, so very light. And the great thing about this, when you buy the one uh, that comes from from Amazon, it comes with this little uh, cradle. And I've taped it on because I wear it upside down. This little cradle here. Um, and I bought a money clip, which is the black thing that you can see on the top. And it's pretty awesome because you can actually do this. And now you've got a true hands-free camera. And the great thing about the Mobius is it's a one-touch switch on. And let me show you that underneath here, the buttons. See this one? I put a little, uh, like a draw bumper, a little uh, sticker. You know, you get on your kitchen cabinets to stop them banging. I put one of those on there. So you push it, you see the lights coming on and it should start flashing in a moment. Yeah, there you go. Now it's recording. And actually, when you're wearing it like this, I can see the light. It's right there. So I know it's recording. Um, and then when I finished, push it again. Same button. That's why I put the draw bumper thing on there. And it stops recording. So uh, pretty pretty cool. Uh, I've got six people watching. That's awesome. And then you can also have it on the top of the hat as well, if you want. Put it that way. There you go. So you've got true hands-free camera if you're doing anything like fishing or biking or say for us relic hunting it's perfect 
Um, it really is good. Even like if you're a regular hunter, I suppose, if you're out like bow hunting or with a shotgun or something, rifles, it's just really good. Get real, that first person uh, view. It's tiny. You can see how big a brim of a cap is. Um, so it's pretty small. A um, few things I've written down, just stuff I want to go over. Um, so the first of all, uh, quality-wise, I think it's fine. Um, it's probably like quarter of the price of a GoPro. And uh, quality-wise, I know GoPros can be really good, but there's lots of different models, and I know some some are better than others. They're not all great, but this one's fine. Um, the different lens options. You see, the lens I've got on this one, it's kind of a, a protruding lens. Um, this is the wide-angle lens I chose, just purely for the nature of, of what I'm going to use it for. Um, I, I want to be able to capture the, the whole area around me, because if I'm holding something in my hand, I want to make sure it's on camera, and, you know, uh, if, it's a, if it's on a smaller area, I can't be sure that it's on there. So that's why I went for the wide-angle version. They're all the same price. But it does fish eye just a little bit. I don't think it's too bad, too noticeable. But uh, again, you can choose. If you prefer uh, standard lens on there, you can go for that. Um, are you happy with the video quality, digging the dirty cell? Yes, I'm very happy with the quality. Um, actually, I've got some videos on the channel. If you want to check those out, have a look uh, where I've used it. Um, I've been happy. Um, now the silver in the hole, doesn't the brim of your hat tend to tip over? No, not at all. It's actually really light. So the brim of the hat, not at all, it's solid. It does, doesn't move whatsoever. Um, I think if this was a heavier camera, it would. But it, uh, as it is right now, no, not at all. I've hunted all day with it. You don't feel like you've got it on. Uh, you kind of forget until you get back to the car, look in the mirror and think, oh my God, you know, I look like an idiot. Um, there's no zoom on the GoPro. Uh, there's no zoom on this either. Um, it, it, it kind of is what it is. Um, but there's lo lots of settings. It comes, when you buy it, you, you visit their website and you can download some software where you can uh, adjust pretty much everything, actually. Uh, all the different um, color quality. If you go out and you don't like the way colors look, you can adjust that. You can adjust which buttons, uh, what they do. Uh, for instance, uh, that's a, that's actually the power button. I've adjusted it so uh, it starts recording when I hit the power button. But it won't always. That can just be powered on and standby and you just press one of the other buttons to record. So it's very customizable. Um, it takes a um, micro SD card at the back there. Um, what I have read is they're quite fussy on what kind of SD card they take. I think it was a class 4 one. See, I've got some more. Yeah, it helps if you've got a big log in, it does. Uh, can you go over your video editing process? Yeah, I can. I love my one, Kev. Hey, it's Rob from Essex. No problems with it. Yeah, yeah, Rob uh, from from the UK bought one as well. And they're really good. Um, yeah, so micro USB, I think it was class four. So just be careful what, what kind you get. Um, and, I, and I can put a link into what, what card. Because some don't work, so um, be careful with that. You see on the back here, it's got the USB cable connection. Um, plug it in the computer. So when you plug it in, just download your files directly onto your PC. Um, and also can charge it as well through the same cable. you got to remember to charge it. Um, the other day I went hunting, I forgot to charge it. And it just quit on me, so I was, I was kind of mad. Because we had some good finds and I wasn't able to get them all live. So uh, looking around here, the, um, the microphone on this thing, there's a tiny little hole just at the front there. Uh, silver in the hole, hunting in Essex next week. Oh, you go to the UK, awesome. I used to live uh, one county above Essex uh, when I was in the UK. So that's a microphone. Um, one, one issue that I have had with it, it picks up breathing noises. Being, being on the hat right here, um, if you're bending over, you know, you're working in the hole and you, you, you breathe, it will come over really heavy and it sounds like you're trying to run a marathon. I think Essex, uh, Rob said, it sounds like you, your lungs going to burst. And that's pretty much what it does sound like. Um, but yeah, that's where the microphone is. 
I do wish it had an external microphone uh, port here so I could just throw another one on and then at least tuck it down in my shirt so it get everything I'm saying um, but just keep it out of the way of wind as well uh, you see I've got a little piece of velcro on here I'm in the process uh, uh, yeah just getting a piece of fluff to velcro over here I went I bought, bought this fella and he actually uh, he makes a good uh, wind muff but he had to sacrifice his tail unfortunately but yeah so we're going to try to muffle the wind noise make me look even more stupid with that grey fluffy thing on the front of my head but that's okay I use a metal detector so I don't look very cool anyway do I um, yeah, so that's a microphone. What else about this? Um, so what's the battery life? Um, I think about I think about two hours, something like that. Um, so you wouldn't want to switch on when you get out and leave it running the whole time, unless you're doing a short hunt. Then you could, I suppose. But just if you're just using it when you dig, I think you'll you'll be fine. At plenty of time. But because you can charge it off the USB, you can even charge it in the car. From uh, like a cigarette lighter. Um, any other questions? Yeah, so battery life, that's what that is. And I think on the SD card, that's one of my dogs, the SD card, a couple of, I don't know, maybe up to four hours worth of uh, footage on that. I guess you'd have to check, or I would check for you and put it on the link if somebody wants to know. Um, um, yeah, the software I've, I've mentioned briefly, um, it was actually, the software was, I think, written by a guy from the UK who's actually into the drones and model aircraft, etc. He wrote it, and it's done, it's amazing, it's so professional. Uh, you can, you can uh, change everything on here. Um, the basic quality, it does 1080p at 30 frames a second, or 720 at 60 frames a second. But obviously, that's a smaller image. But but the uh, the thirty frames works fine. It's only uh, I think gonna gonna be uh, an issue if you're looking to slow your footage down. Then it's gonna be, you you'll see the frame rate difference. But um, for 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 general use, it, it's good. Um, there's a Mobius two out now, uh, which is about the same size, but instead of the buttons being on here, they're on the side, and it doesn't come with this little cradle. So you'd need to figure that out yourself how you're gonna mount it. Um, I think they've made some improvements. I think the Mobius 2 is 1080p. Uh, my buffering, did you lose me or am I? Okay, can somebody tell me if you can still hear me? Still see me? Just said buffering on the screen. All right, I'll carry on. Um, yeah, so the Mobius 2 is out. Um, but I, um, it's a little bit more money and I wanted one with the cradle. And uh, I was happy looking at reviews of everything that the original Mobius did. So it doesn't come with this thing on the top. This was a money clip I actually got from a couple of bucks off Amazon. And uh, I just zip tied it to the cradle. You good? All right. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I just zip tied it to this little cradle here. So it fits on a hat and it works absolutely perfectly. Um, I don't know why they didn't include something like this. I know they do send hat, sell hat mounts and well, all sorts of mounts and stuff, but for, for two bucks, that's ideal. It works great. Um, also, this the, the cradle, you can't see it because I've zip-tied this on there. It actually, it's got the um, little, little mount for a tripod, so you can tripod mount it as well. And you can also use it as a car camera. I know a lot of people use them as uh, like a dash cam in their vehicle. Um, because you can set it as soon as it powers up it starts recording and that's what a lot of people like about it so as soon as you put the power to the vehicle it's going to start recording and um, if nothing happens when you, you know it will just set to record over that SD card again and again and again but if there's something particularly that you want to capture on it then you take your SD card out and uh, you can use it so um, you can do that um, you can set the video clip length as well uh, use Velcro, yes, uh, Essex said use Velcro, it comes with a little piece of Velcro, I don't know what I've done with mine, yeah. under here, no, but it, it, it 
the pack I, I got, did, did yours rub as well? Did it come from a, with a little piece of Velcro? Really strong stuff that you can stick onto the clip. Uh, Velcro it to your hat, hat as well. Uh, so that's another option, Velcro. But uh, I haven't used my car. I want to be able to take it off and use it on different hats and stuff like that. Um, what else did I want to say about it? Yeah, it comes. Uh, it does different clip lengths. I think I set mine to unlimited. Otherwise, it can you know you can set it to record three or four minutes or five minutes or whatever. So different options like that. Um, yeah, it's a great little camera. Really happy with it. Um, yeah, just got. I, I wish I wish it had an ex a removable battery. That would have been good for me the other day when I got to uh, charge it up. I could have just taken that out and put another one in. So that that's something I would have liked to have seen differently, and also I would have liked to have seen this this uh, microphone uh, port just so I can plug a little three point five millimeter jack in there and just use a microphone. Have you got any questions, guys? I uh, see we've got a few people watching. How many we got watching? We've got seven. Give us a thumbs up. Got one thumbs up. Um, does it help you find regimental buttons? Oh yeah. Yeah, does it ever? Let me show you. Yeah, it helps. See that? We've got some goodies in there. I'll have to show you them one time. Yeah, it helps. But no, I've I've been then uh, pretty delighted actually. It's it's been a really good camera for me. And uh I looked at various options. There's a lot of similar ones on the market. There's I said there's GoPro, there's something called the Run Cam. Polaroid do a little tiny cube thing, it's really small. Um, but I looked at reviews on all of them. This is the one that, that I thought came out the best. I have Velcro stuck in all, all of my hats now from Essex. Yeah, yeah, so you can change. Yeah, you can change, uh, put it on different hats. That's pretty cool. But there we go, guys. You got any questions on this? I know, I think Brian had a question on editing. Anybody got uh, a question on the Mobius? Or I, I can talk about editing if you want. I got three likes now. Awesome. Thanks, fellas. Nothing? All right. So, um, so Brian, you, you asked about editing. Um, I do my editing. Pretty much I do everything on my phone. I've got a Samsung S5 um, Android. And uh, prior to getting this, I did all my filming on there. Uh, I made all my thumbnails on there. And I did all my editing on there. I use a uh, piece of software called uh, Power Director by, let's see if I can find the company. Here, yeah, got another thumbs up. Cyberlink is the company. It's on the App Store called Power Director. Uh, I got the paid version, which is, I don't know, a couple of bucks, three bucks, something like that. But it's really good. It's, it's kind of a full feature video editor, similar to ones that you would find on your PC. It does everything. So, for instance, now I have this, I just move uh, my footage from this to the PC, I decide which clips I want, and then put them in my Dropbox on here. Dropbox is a piece of software that allows for file sharing. So I put it on there, uh, I've got Dropbox on my phone, put it on there, come back 10 minutes later, most of my files will come through, and I can move, export them to my phone, put them into the editor, and then work on that as well. And also, when you're doing your editing, uh, YouTube have got a really good... Uh, audio library as well which is all free to use if you do but you've got to credit it right in your in your description um so editing is really really simple but if, if you do look at power director i can certainly help you out with that it's um a real simple piece of software um so the rest of my filming i do on the android which i'm doing now just uh buy an app um yeah that that's pretty much that Nice job on the live stream. We'll give the Mobius a look if I'm in the market for another camera. Thanks, happy hunting. Thanks, buddy. Are you off now? Appreciate that. All right, guys. So that's kind of pretty much all I wanted to do today. It's been about 20 minutes. Unless anybody else has got anything they want to ask or want to have a chat or something. Um, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything on the camera. Price, a lot cheaper than the GoPro. I know in the UK it's like 60 bucks, 60 pounds, something like that, 60 quid. Uh, different lenses available, mounts. There's all sorts of actually 3D printed mounts people make. Um, if you if you look on the internet, all sorts of mounts for this thing. But for for our, us, I think uh, a head mount is the best. And 
if you use a piece of uh, Velcro like Rob said, or just you know a little, little money clip like this. Uh, the buttons, really simple. These silver things on here, incidentally, these are called heat sinks because the in insides get warm. This just dissipates the heat from the inside, but so they're not buttons. They're uh, they're just uh, yeah to get rid of the heat. Oh, one thing I didn't mention: it's not waterproof, so you do have to be uh, aware of that. But could it's so small, it'll just fit in a little sandwich bag. You know, your little lunch bag. It'll fit on one of those. You could either just have lens poking out, or just pull it tight so it's covered the lens, and you can still wear it under your hat. But they, they do. Um, there's waterproof houses and mounts for these. But I don't know how that would work with your audio because the, obviously the whole thing would be contained. Um, SD card, spoke about that. Um, I think it was about four hours on an SD card. Um, audio, yeah, that's the only weak, weak part of it really. Although the audio is okay, it's fine. It's just kind of the way we wear them. It's close here, so everything... Um, from you know your breathing your speech is very loud uh, when you're talking to other people that you know it, it, it's less so because you know, they're a little further away from the mic but I do like this you just make sure your volume is on on your detector and then you can record everything so everybody's listening and can hear all the sounds um, that you can hear when you're out there um, software's great battery um, yeah I wish I had another battery there's something called a uh, not a capacitor. I know that, that for people that use it on as a car camera, um, there's instructions that you can actually buy from their website. You you take this apart, you you take uh, this battery out and put one in that you can uh, then wire directly into your kind of car harness, uh, so it power it directly, so you you don't have that charge discharge cycle. Um, all the time and, and that will preserve the life of the, the power on that but uh, I don't need it for what I use um, there we go um, if there's no more questions guys I've been on for just over 22 minutes just wanted to test the live stream show you off the Mobius I'll um, when I when I go back in I'll put a description uh, where I got it from on Amazon and uh, there we go thanks guys uh, video out tomorrow. We got hunt. We got three new permissions actually. Uh, when you, uh, James and I went to see some farmers, we got probably a couple of thousand acres, and we found a home site the other day. Uh, we didn't spend a long time there. We just a couple of hours, but we we come up with a few bits and pieces. The video is scheduled for release tomorrow morning, seven a.m. my time, uh, about twelve one p.m. UK time, something like that. But we're going hunting again tomorrow. Going back to the home site, so we'll have another video out again soon. But uh, thanks, fellas. Um, We'll see you later, okay? Happy hunting.